Good afternoon and welcome to the Piano Forte Salon Series, a live monthly broadcast produced by the Piano Forte Foundation. Today's recital presented live from the Piano Forte Studios at 1335 South Michigan Avenue. And today's guest artist, a welcome frequent visitor to Piano Forte and to WFMT as well, pianist Matthew Hagel. He'll be performing music of Beethoven, the Sonata Opus 27, number one, uh, in a book two of Image by Claude Debussy, Chopin's Barcarolle, and the concert will end with the Tarantella from Venezia in Napoli by Franz Liszt. Please welcome Matthew Hagel to begin our program of the Beethoven Sonata Opus 27, number one.
Beethoven's Sonata Opus 27, number one, played by Matthew Hagel. Matt Hagel, our guest this afternoon at the Piano Forte Foundation's Piano Forte Salon Series, coming to you live from WFMT. And uh, Matthew's going to take a moment to take a break and get a sip of water and talk to us for a bit. Welcome, uh, uh, Matt. You. It's good to have you, you back. I know you've done a number of these, and it's always a pleasure to have you at the Piano Forte. The uh, Beethoven Sonata is part of a program that you are doing as a continuing series on WFMT. Tell us a little bit about that's that. That's right. That's right. Uh, a few years ago, I decided that that was something uh, my life needed, was to play all the Beethoven sonatas. Um, and uh, so I've, I've been doing that on, um, on the Live from WF, um, WFMT series. Um, and um, the, that started uh, about two years ago. I'm almost halfway through it. So we've divided them up into eight different programs, four sonatas per program, and mm -hmm. just went from there. Um, <laughs> So the, the next one will be uh, June the 8th of this year, I think, and we are probably going to do them sort of at the rate of two per year, I think, which is about you know, what I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this the first time that you've traversed the entire uh, sonata, uh, That's all right. of the Beethoven sonatas? That's right, yeah. So it's, it's an interesting, uh, interesting journey. I'm still learning some of them. You know, I have, I've got a fair number of them under my belt right now. I've actually performed 12 so far on these concerts. Um, and then there were some that I knew already. Um, and it's uh, trying to work it in amongst other things too um, has been interesting. And there's a lot of long-term planning that goes on with something like that, which is different from anything else that I've had to do. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's, it's, it's a fascinating project. There's a level of difficulty with each one, uh, some being more difficult than the others. What one do you find most challenging? Well, the, the one you know, most pianists would pick is, is Opus 106, the 106. Hammer Silver is called. Uh, and, uh, and that's one that, I, um, that I'm actually still learning. And you know, that, that where there's strategy involved, then some of it involves that particular piece. It, a lot of, I talked to one other pianist, um, who had done all of the Beethoven sonatas as a cycle, and he said, you know, well, you, you want to start that like three years ahead of time, and you know, and then and then leave a year just for the last movement, even uh, <laughs> if you want to feel comfortable with it, you know. Uh, so that that I I kept that in mind. That's a difficult one, but they um, they are fascinatingly diverse, and they also they have their own difficulties. Some of them I would have found not so difficult. Just simply, you look at the page and see what the, you know, the notes per square inch are, and you know, and and and, and look at it. But they 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 were difficult because Beethoven is such a varied character, and there were certain things that that were in the music that I just found, when it came right down to it, that were were harder to bring off. Um, there's uh, the Sonata uh, Opus 31, number one, which is a very um, quirky and interesting piece and I grew to like it very much but you know that piece for example didn't didn't fit me as well as, as some of the other ones and, and you know some of them I had known already so that of course makes it easier too. Best to take your time and do it all right. I think so yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have WC Chopin and Liszt coming up on our program this afternoon and I think you mentioned off the air that the WC and the Chopin, the Barker role we'll be hearing and uh, book two of Image are coming up on another program you'll be doing. Here. That's right, that's right. So on uh, February 22nd um, at, I think it's at 3.30, I, I, have a, um, I have a recital in St. Luke's Church in Evanston and I'll be playing those two pieces, um, a work of Messiaen and uh, Brahms, Handel Variations then. Um, so, and uh, and these are the bar girl is a piece that I have known and loved for years. I mean that that's um, that's that's one of those things that um, that I I wanted to play for a long time. I did play it when I was eighteen, I think, and um, and I always come back to it. It's very uh, nourishing in that way uh, for me. And, uh, and the WCR are, are are new, but uh, again that 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 there the composer is one I've I've always really loved and felt close to. Um, 
So yeah, th those those are um, those are going to be coming up again for, for me soon. The date on that at St. Luke's it's is when? February 22nd. The 22nd. And I think the, um, there's some more information on their, uh, they have a website for, uh, for the concerts, which is I think opus327.org. What's the Messian piece you'll be playing? Uh, is the, the 11th of the Vent Regard, um, which I actually, um, coincidentally, I, 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 the last time I was here, that was one of the pieces that I played. Um, and uh, Messian also is a fascinating, um, interesting, eclectic, um, and, and a very pianistic composer to himself. So, and uh, I tried to um, put my program together so that I could have the Chopin and the Messian, uh, who are, are the Chopin and the Debussy, who are in a sense ancestors of of the Messian, and kind of put them around around it. He was an organist, so his he, music he, would, would right. translate to... Uh, and his wife was a very fine pianist, and, uh, and, and he wrote many, many things for her. But I, I, I think also that um, sometimes when he writes music for the piano, then he, um, he's thinking of the, uh, the colors of the organ sometimes as much as, as what you can get on the piano. Um, and, and, you know, this piece, uh, as a lot of Messian is, that's very slow also and, and works very well in a big surrounding. Well, again, it's great to have you with us this afternoon, yeah, Matthew. Thank you. thank you. And our program will continue now with Book Two of Image by Claude Debussy. Once again, Matthew Hegel.
book two of Image by Claude Debussy. Matthew Hegel, the pianist, on our Piano Forte Salon series coming to you live from the Piano Forte Studios on South Michigan Avenue on WFMT. Next, we have the Barcarolle by Frédéric Chopin. Pianist Matthew Hegel.
Frederick Chopin's Barca Roll, played by Matthew Hegel, our pianist this afternoon, coming to you from the Piano Forte Foundation on WFMT. Our final piece on the program, the Tarantella from Venezia in Napoli, Venice and Naples, by Franz Liszt.
the Tarantella from Venezia in Napoli by Franz Liszt. Matthew Hegel, our guest artist this afternoon from the Piano Forte Foundation Piano Forte Salon Series. Matthew Hegel, a faculty member of the Music Institute of Chicago, and has performed extensively throughout the U.S., Canada, Australia, Brazil, and Japan, also England. He studied at the Juilliard School, also the New England Conservatory of Music, and Indiana University. Piano Forte Foundation wishes to thank Elaine Pagels for her support, and if you'd like to become a member of the Piano Forte Foundation, please visit pianofortefoundation.org or call 312-291-0291. Coming up at Piano Forte, a piano battle. Andreas Kern and Paul Sibis joined together for their North American debut February 19th and 20th here at the Piano Forte Studios. Who will win this game of tones? Well, you be the judge and the jury. Tickets are available now at pianofortefoundation.org. And remember to mark your calendars. Piano Forte Foundation celebrates their 10th anniversary with a grand gala Friday, May 8th, at the Ritz-Carlton, Chicago, honoring renowned artist and supporter of the arts, Andrea Marcovici. Tickets are $175 and can be purchased now at pianofortefoundation.org. And for more information, you can call 312-291-0291. Piano Forte Foundation wishes to thank American Chartered Bank for its sponsorship and support. We hope you enjoyed this afternoon's Piano Forte Salon Series, coming to you from the new studios at 1335 South Michigan Avenue. And we invite you to tune in again next month to 98.7 WFMT when we present another Piano Forte Salon Series live. And for details about the schedule, again, the website, pianofortefoundation.org. Our engineer is Eric Arunas. He was assisted today by Victor Lejeune. And this is David Schwann, your host for these broadcasts. Thank you very much for joining us.